Okay guys, so this video is gonna be freaking long. Go grab a snack, go grab a drink. If you're anything like me, when you're watching these videos, you're gonna want a snack or drink or something like that. But it's really freaking long and I apologize. I couldn't make it any shorter than it is. Okay guys, so I made this video for the ones that have been asking me about what I eat to clear up my chronic cystic acne, what I eat to help my digestive system because I have a terrible one, and also what I eat to actually maintain my weight. Um, it consumed my whole day yesterday. This video is so long because I tried to get everything that I possibly stuck in my face um, on video and it was so hard to remember to film it but I don't know how many times I will actually be uploading videos like this. I do want you to know that I eat a very vegetable fruit based diet so just changing out those fruits and vegetables once in a while um, because I am the kind of person that actually doesn't get tired of eating the same thing once or twice or all week long. I can have the same meals all week long and be okay with it because what I stick in my face is actually what I love to eat. So anything that I like, I eat. And that should be how you eat as well. Um, what I'm showing you today is not what I think you should eat, it's actually just the meals that I like to eat. So take it for what it is. I'm not a professional dietitian, and I'm not a chef, and uh, none of this is professional. It's just what I eat in a day, and I hope you like this video. Alright guys, so the first thing I stick in my mouth is oil. I use organic coconut extra virgin oil and I use it to oil pull. And here I am demonstrating how I oil pull. I also have a honey mask on my face and I'm just swishing around oil pulling. I do this every single morning before I even drink my warm lemon ginger water. So here I am demonstrating how I make my little lemon ginger water. Just slice up some ginger and then I squeeze in a little bit of lemon. This is half a lemon. And then of course you add some warm water. And that is it, guys. That's lemon ginger water. And then here we go. I'm still swooshing. Haven't drank my lemon ginger water yet. Spit it out and start to drink my lemon ginger water. My face still looks really weird and honeylicious, but yeah, that's what I look like. Okay, so I've practiced yoga at this point. It's 9.30ish and it's time for me to make some breakfast. I make myself a little juice and here I have two little organic beets. Then I have an organic apple, a little cube of ginger, the slices from my ginger water, lemon water, and some kale. And this is gonna make a small glass of juice. I don't go overboard with the juice because of I'm hungry and I don't want it to spoil my appetite so I'm just making some juice with my Omega and make it really fast. And here is my beautiful juice art. It is not only delicious, it is also very pretty. So the next thing I do is I always have some fruit and yesterday morning I had a nectarine. This is when it's nice and ripe, it's easy to pull away from the seeds, so you have to make sure that they're ripe. They're not really good if they're not ripe anyways, but nectarines are super, super, super sweet, and I love them. Then I grab a banana, the speckly kind, not the ones that are not speckly yet. I like to grab the speckly ones. Uh, they're super sweet and very delicious. I cut up the little banana in a bowl, and then and I add some kind healthy grains. This is the gluten-free healthy grains and they're super good, very chunky, and I love it. So does health. Okay guys, so I add some more little clusters because I was feeling greedy, starving, hungry, had to taste it, make sure it was even good still. And then here it is guys granola custards and some banana, then I add some unsweet vanilla almond milk to that because it's delicious and that's how I like it. Ta-da! My breakfast. I also take B12 and I take a Cebu sea buckthorn seed oil pill and then I take a multivitamin and that's a whole foods multivitamin 
and it's good for my belly, B12, it's good for my energy, and I need it, and the Cebu is for oils, it's omega-7, and look at Holmes, he's just like chilling, waiting for some more clusters. He always sits there waiting for food from me, and I'm just chowing down, eating really, really fast. No, I'm not really eating this fast because I fast forwarded this, so obviously. Holmes likes to eat fruits and vegetables with me, and I always feed him from the table. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I don't mind it. He sits so patiently, look at him, just waiting for something to eat, and of course I give some to him. And then I take my vitamins after I eat with my juice, and it's really good. Cheers. grab a snack around noon time. I make a smoothie. This is an enzyme smoothie. I add one frozen banana with some coconut water. Sometimes I use almond milk, but today I use coconut water. And then I use aloe vera juice, finish that bottle up. Then I had black seed. I always put black seed and chia seeds into this smoothie. Now this smoothie is an enzyme smoothie. It's great for probiotics and all kinds of good stuff for your belly. I also add some cacao powder and that greens pack is the pack that's full of enzymes, greens, and probiotics, and it's really good for my belly and digestion. Then I just put in my little blender and mix it up. I also take a acidophilus pill, and I also take a vitamin C with rose hips in it. And then I just drink it up, guys. It's delicious. All day, every day, I have fluids, H2O, kombucha, aloe, all kinds of fluids. So does Michael. Michael has the great side of fluids as well, but my side is full of different fluids. I need some tea, leave it in there, water, Perrier, some 100% juice, I put in my smoothie sometimes, and aloe, and coconut water, and almond milk, and nani juice. But I always have this little um, water bottle in there filled with water. Today I had cucumbers in there. I usually have lemon or sometimes I add like raspberries, any kind of fruit. But today I just filled it up with cucumber and I have that four to five times a day. And then for lunch, I decided to drink the rest of this kombucha and then had an aloe drink. This aloe drink is watermelon and peach. If you haven't had it before, it's delicious. I'm gonna have a mango, half avocado, some organic kale, baby kale, and a tomatoes, and then some cucumbers. And I also make this like black bean and corn with red pepper dressing. I've had this for the last two days and I'm gonna have it again today. Um, so I make this and keep it inside the refrigerator so it's really easy to make a salad. Here I am starting to make a salad, scaring you with my big knife. And I just plate it like you normally would, adding my kale in there and giving some to Holmes because Holmes actually really likes kale. Add some baby kale as well. And, and then I add some cucumbers, a slice of cucumbers I always have in the fridge and half a avocado. I only use half of the avocado. I save the other one for tomorrow, but I could eat avocado every single meal if I could. It's so delicious. And then I add some cherry tomatoes on top of that. And then I add my little relish of black beans, corn, and this is like a red bell pepper as well in there. I'm gonna share with you guys how to cut a mango. When I first met Michael, he didn't know how to cut a mango. It's pretty easy, you just cut the sides of the mango. It's really easy. Some people peel it. I don't understand that, but um, just cutting off the sides and then you just cut around the seed if you want extra meat. I just cut around the seed and then I chomp on the seed area. But then you just do like a tic-tac-toe pattern in that little crevice there and then look, bam, voila, mango art. And you eat that mango art because it's freaking delicious. And I just chow down on my salad, re-watching this stuff is freaking hilarious. I look like a freaking pig in this video, you guys. Anyways, uh, then I eat my mango art, and it's so freaking good. And look at him, look at Holmes, just sitting there in the splits, waiting for some mango. I give him mango. So after the 
part before I start showing you what else I feed my face. I wanted to make my own commercial. This is a brand called Zuvi. These are leggings. I'm not sponsored. I just love this brand. They feel so amazing on. They're made out of recycled bottles. Just wanted to share with you because I am going to have them in my yoga studio someday. So around 4.30ish, it's snack time and I don't realize how much I actually eat until I was filming this. Don't mind my hair, I just got out of the shower and here I am talking about this routine. I love this routine, I've talked about it in my favorites before. I'm adding one frozen banana and then I add some cubes of pineapple and I'm not measuring anything. This is just what I do, I just kind of throw stuff together. Then I add some almond milk and sweet, of course and just add a little bit. You don't want too much of the fluids to make your ice cream runny, so I'm making ice cream if you didn't notice. And then you add a scoop of your protein. I don't use a whole scoop, just whatever. Just to flavor it, basically, it's about more than half a scoop. And of course it gets stuck because it's so thick of everything's frozen and you have to really work at it to get it to start to really blend well. But I do this about five times and then there you go. It comes out amazing freaking ice cream. Look at that stuff, man. It's so thick. It's so freaking good. I can't even explain it in words what this really smells like and tastes like. It is delicious and if you make this you will want to eat it every single day as well so good for you fruitine is one of my favorite favorite proteins check it out guys this is my fruitine ice cream and pina colada favor is so good I add some organic coconut flakes on top of this because I was feeling greedy and yep add some and then I make my own chocolate you guys um, I've made videos before about it but this time I used the date syrup and cacao and coconut oil and then on top of that I had some coconut sugar oh my gosh um, hello it's so good and yes I have it every day because I have a sweet tooth and I want to have it every day and my hair is still a freaking mess because still haven't I don't um, brush my hair right out of the shower so it doesn't break, so I still haven't brushed it. <laughs> and showing you that I'm a hot mess, but whatever. I had to finish doing Holmes's um, video. I had to finish editing it, and there he is right there, and eating my ice cream. And it's all gone, and I always get sad when it's all gone. And about 4.45ish, I'm still snacking. I am over here at the coffee table with some more water, filled it right back up and drank some more with cucumbers in it. Then I had these organic carrot chips and some hummus. Today I had spinach and artichoke hummus. It's so good and Holmes loves carrot chips. <laughs> he is a fiend about the carrot chips. He loves some vegetables and I'm so happy about it because they're good for him. So I give him carrot chips all the time. And we snack, and I probably have about two handfuls, and that's it. Um, yeah, so still haven't brushed my hair, guys. <laughs> I usually make myself dinner if Michael is not home or not going out. I love to make my zucchini spaghetti. Here I use two zucchinis, a little bit of the onion, one little uh, clove of garlic, and then I usually use three big tomatoes. And then sometimes I like to add little cherry tomatoes for sweetness and garnish. And then I always pick up this little pasta blend. It's an organic little pasta blend that I love to use, and I sometimes use kale. And my little secret is I use shiitake mushrooms in almost everything. I love the flavor of shiitake mushrooms and the texture. They are so good and add an Asian flair to pretty much everything I eat, and I like it that way. I need a blender to blend up my marinara sauce, and this is how I make my marinara sauce. I basically just throw in the garlic, and then I use the pasta blend. This has oregano and basil, and I think there's a little bit of thyme in here as well. So I just 
don't measure anything guys, I just throw some stuff in there and then I add some kale to give it a little bit of a spicier kick. And then I add some onions as well. And then I'm just gonna cut up the two of the tomatoes first and then I add the third one in later, you'll see here in a minute. But I just add the two, then I blend that up. I'm trying to show you better view here of just blending it up and it turns green. So it's green and then I add another one of the tomatoes so it can fit in there better. And I also just grab some of the cherry tomatoes. It adds a little bit of sweetness to it. And then um, I didn't show you this before, but I add some paste to it. So it's tomato paste. I use this organic tomato paste in a can. Sometimes, not all the time, but this night I wanted to and I just, it's really, I just only use two heaping teaspoons of this and that is it. Then I blend that up and voila, you have marinara sauce. And I just pulse it, I don't really blend it, sorry, it's just pulsing. And that's it, it's chunky tomato marinara sauce. It's so good, test it out, make sure it's good. And yep, it's pretty good, yep. All right, so it's too much for one night. I make it for two, so tomorrow I will have the same thing all over again. Like I said, I like to eat the same things all the time. And I cut up my portobellos, and I'm gonna show you how to use a spiralizer. So you just stick it on the pointy side, stick it in the other side, and here you go. You have zucchini spaghetti, voila. Super, super cool, huh? I love using this machine. It's so super fast. Not as fast as I was showing you, but end up with this wiggly thing, super funny. But uh, I do both of my zucchinis just like that and I'm all done. So fast and so good. Okay guys, you can eat this stuff raw or you can also warm it up. And I decided I wanted to warm it up and I'm going to saute my mushrooms with a little bit of coconut oil and the onions that I had left over and you're just gonna warm up your onions, make sure they're brown, and then add my portobellos, which I saute the portobellos until they're warm. I don't sit there and cook anything. Then this is really being cooked. Um, then I do the zucchini as well. I add the zucchini with some basil, and I'm pretty much just warming this stuff up, guys. Uh, it doesn't take me very long. This is all taking me about five minutes. I wish you guys had smell-o-vision because the smell of the portobellos sauteing and the tomato sauce, it smells like spaghetti heaven. And here I am making a little spritzer with my spaghetti with the Jolhoya. These are little natural sodas that are so good and then I add a red blend to that and it's perfect for me. Not too much of either. And voila, there is my zucchini spaghetti with portobello mushrooms on top. And this is all just for me, every single piece of it. Michael is out of town, he is out of town for work, and I'm all alone by myself having a glass of wine and my famous zucchini spaghetti that I love to have. I have this quite a bit, guys. And just looking back on this video is hilarious to see myself feed my face. But, yep, I eat all of this, every single bit of it, because why not? It is so freaking delicious and it's good for me. So I'm gonna finish up my dinner here and I will show you what I eat later. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to film it, so I'm showing you my Snapchat picture of my finished dinner. Following dinner, there's always dessert. Like I said before, I have a sweet tooth and I usually have some fruit and I share my watermelon with homeboy. So I just have a little bowl of fruit and I'm finishing some wine. I added some more wine to this and around 8 p.m. I have shots with my tea. Yes, shots, I said, people. I have shots of apple cider vinegar. <laughs> so every single night, this is great for digestion, for my belly for um, having low acid in my belly. It really helps digest it. It also helps your skin, but I take a full shot of apple cider vinegar. Yes, this is what my face looks like every single night, every single time. I don't know why, I'm never gonna get used to it, but it's good for me and I 
drink it every night. So I had some lemon, ginger, and manuka honey. This is a herbal tea, has no caffeine at night. I love to have some tea, hang out with my homes, and that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my video, it was super long and I'm sorry, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.